Hello everyone and welcome back. And I'm actually sitting on a stool, so I am up at microwave height, not refrigerator height, microwave height. Um, so I just got in here and look at this. Look at this. Can I show it to you? There you go. It's so pretty and clean. Now there are a few like grubby bits, right, that are like still stuck on. A few here and there, but main thing is this microwave is white it's clean i can put my hand in there i don't feel like gross about it at all um it's sanitary because i've been steaming it with vinegar and salt it is ready to go ready to cook food um the tray the trivet is um soaking in the sink back there with some dish soap and stuff. At this point, if you wanted to get those grubby bits off, you could um, take some baking soda um, and make it into a paste and real and just sort of rub it on there, and let it sit, and then you could take some vinegar on a on a washcloth or on a paper towel and wipe it through, and then scrub it out. You could use a sponge. You could use a scrubber. You could um, use the ouch. Ha, I just hurt myself. You could use, uh, like literally, like I stabbed myself, my foot with my other foot. Um, you could use the plastic version of this. This is metal, don't use this. But they sell little plastic versions. You could use the scrubby side of your sponge. You could use a bristle brush. The thing about a bristle brush is that it kind of sprays everything everywhere. Um, you can take a spray bottle if you have a spray bottle fill it with vinegar after you've made your paste take a cloth hold it up there and spit 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 spit, spit, spit. as you go by let the water and the suds fall down um all different sorts of things one thing i did do was i was getting dissatisfied with the effectiveness of the bottom it just wasn't cleaning the bottom and so I filled up the water bowl more so that it had a bit of overspill. I took my sponge with some water, like filled up with water, cave it over here and like lightly squeezed and dripped it around the edges, cut, got it wet, really honestly got the bottom of the microwave wet, cooked it, the microwave a little bit more, all wiped off. So, I mean, like I said, it depends on the, um, the microwave, it depends on what you do, how effective it is or is not going to be. So I actually ran it through like, 10 minutes, checked it, really sticky. 15, checked it, better. Another 15, most wiped off, but the floor surface of it was not great. Took my sponge, squeezed it on there, did another 15, it turned out like this. So overall, it's cooked for about like over an hour. Um, yeah, but that, so I would say this, it cleans faster, one with a steam mama, or an angry mama steam thing. It cleans faster if you own a spray bottle. So the fastest technique I have ever used to clean a microwave is to take a paste of baking soda and water and spread it on the really hard areas with a spoon if you don't wanna touch it, don't matter, okay? You wear gloves. Then let it sit, spray it with some vinegar, wipe off the excess, Okay, cook it. Also really effective way is to have a spray bottle full of water and vinegar and just spray the heck out of it as well as with the with the bowl but you just get all the surfaces wet. Just let the water get in there and then cook it. That is really really very effective. The reason I didn't do it is because I don't want you to feel like if you don't have a spray bottle you can't clean your microwave, okay? I don't want you to feel like if you don't have a scrubby brush, you can't clean your microwave, okay? One of the biggest things is that if you don't have all the supplies, sometimes you can feel like, oh, I can't do it, I don't have all the supplies, or you get anxiety about going out and bringing another thing into your home. You're like, oh my God, I have to go out and I have to buy a spray bottle to clean my microwave. And so then you get anxiety either about going to the store or about purchasing something else and bringing one more object into your house. Um, yes, these objects will make it easier for you. I do suggest you get them, but it's clean. Paper towels, 
I didn't even scrub it with my sponge. I literally just used my sponge to like squeeze water out on it. Like not a lot of elbow grease. It took time. That's all it took. Okay. So, um, yeah, definitely encourage you to do those things. If you can, um, find it within yourself to go to the store with your anxiety, or if you feel like with your hoarding, you can stand to go and get one, one spray bottle, um, and spray it. That would be great. Don't buy 12, even if they're on sale. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the microwave is clean. Be sure and check that out. I clarified something I spoke about in the first video, the first how to clean your microwave part one. Um, I said something about my armpits being gross. I've made a video about that. Check that out. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you all later. Bye.